welcome back so we've got this nice little cute bot that we're going to start coding so the first thing you have to do is you get a micro bit because right now the cute bot doesn't have anything so you need a micro bit and my uh, cord for the micro bit short so I gotta take it off or move my cute bot over to it so I just plug my micro bit into uh, my computer stop the webcam for a moment and I'm going to start a new project uh, let's go to Qbot 2 Qbot 1 I was just starting to explore some things uh, the things we got to do we need to add some extensions again the Qbot has an extension because it's got you know certain parts that it wants to uh, that it already has some blocks written for so we search for Qbot under extensions add it and you see Qbot showed up here. And so did NeoPixel, which is nice. If NeoPixel didn't show up, I would just have to go to extensions again. There's another way to go to extensions. Oh, top right in the gears and you know, add NeoPixels. Um, and now we start, we start exploring these. Set wheel speed. You set both wheel speeds at the same time. You can set one to zero. Obviously they're in percent, so negative 100 would be backwards. Um, go forward at a speed 50, so it's going to drive both wheels. Um, forward, backwards, right, and left. So I might, might have to explore, so that's what it's going to say in the drop down. You might have to explore what left and right do. Do they, do they stop one wheel, or do they um, do like a zero turn mower and spin one wheel forward and one wheel backwards? That's a good question. Um, go straight full speed, reverse at full speed, just extra, some simpler blocks instead of playing with the set left and right or go forwards kind of thing. Um, but again, the, the, those are going to go, if you say go straight at full speed, it's going to go on forever. Or not. Now, it'll just go for a quick little bit of time till the next block of code runs, unless you've got that in like an infinite loop. Um, but if you just put that in another line of code, it's going to get to another code. But I don't know if it's going to stop doing straight. It's a good question. Because I did try something. Um, what did I do? I forget which one I did. I think I said turn left. F no, I guess I said I used this. I said uh, I used this. I said go left 50% for. Uh, now, if it's got a time, it's going to go for a certain amount of time. So, things to explore with those. Do they just keep going on forever? Or do they just run that block and stop? Great question. Stop car, set headlights, um, set headlights to an RGB code. So again, the RGB values um, run from 0 to 255 um, because 256 choices are how many choices we have on things. Remember binary. Um, line sensors. The, the distance sensor, set servos, so again there's two places you can add on some servos, and then the IR buttons. Now we've got two NeoPixels on the bottom, just to remind you. We've got two NeoPixels on the bottom. That's why that NeoPixel thing and those are the line sensors. Um, so let's uh, set some NeoPixel stuff. Um, NeoPixels. We have to tell it it has some NeoPixels, and that's usually an on start thing. Now, where they are, it says on the, the QBot right next to NeoPixels that they are on pin 15. So we have to, th and you, you can change this name to anything. That's a variable. Select this variable, and you could call it whatever you want. Um, but we're on pin 15, and we have two NeoPixels. All right, so that tells it. Whenever I want to display NeoPixels, they're on pin 15. So tell pin 15 what to do. So um, we'll just play right now with a forever loop. So let's uh, show. It's called strip right now. And again, that's a variable you can change. Um, and you can change. Um, you can split up the, that those two NeoPixels. Uh, you can call one left and one right, and that's usually in this range 
idea um, that it would be like, you know, zero, one neopixel, start at zero, use one neopixel, start at one, use one neopixel. If that's too confusing, we'll get to that later. So right now I've got set it to red. I'm gonna I don't change it to orange. Let's also turn the headlights on. So that's now with QBot. Um, doom 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 doom. Set headlights. Set LED headlights. Um, red. I don't know. Let's pick a blue. And again, we can copy and paste. Command C, Command V, or Control. And I'm gonna let's change the left one to be something else. I don't know. So we're making, putting some, making to do some color. Um, let's see, what else can we do here? We're gonna have it move here, but I'm gonna use. Let's let's do a display. Display show number. Forever show number. Now that show number is gonna be on the um, micro bit, and we're going to show. What we're going to show is the um, values at the sensor is getting. So we turn some lights on and we show what value that sensor is getting. All right. And then let's do a let's do an if. Let's go if. If that value. Let's let's say if we get close, we're going to back up. All right. So let's look again for we need a we need a triangular box. Oh, under logic. We need a triangular box. If something is true, if what is true? Well, if our sensor, if our sensor is, let's go less than or equal to, and there's some logic to play with, you know, whether it's equal or less than, is equal to less than or equal to five. Let's do, uh, let's, let's go backwards. Let's go backwards. 50%, five seconds. I don't have enough space to do that. Uh, for one second, and heck, you can make it make some noise. Um, well, pick a pick a ringtone, pick a beep, whatever. Um, and then let's let's play with uh, let's play with a button. So because we got some on some buttons, so if button A is pressed, let's go turn left. I don't know. Let's see what happens. All right, that's all an experiment. I don't know if that's going to show up in, in the screen, but we'll find out. Um, so now we need to download. And again, I am connected to the micro bid, which you can do. Or you can just download your computer and then drag it like it's a flash drive. So we're going to download to the micro bit. Again, the micro bit should flash a little yellow thing on the back. And I kind of wait for this to stop. Oh, downloaded. And now I'm going to go over to my uh, webcam, to my bot. Oh, why are we backwards? I'm going to flip the camera. All right. And I'm going to turn it on. I always like having it ready. So we got, again, we got some. I got close to it. So, oh, I probably didn't change that. Go backwards, did I? All right, so we got yellows. We got some. Some color on the lights probably can't see too well let me turn off a light a little better maybe probably can't see those colors I mean I don't know if you can see them so I'm gonna cover them with white let's see if you can see that color any better and if I need white tissue paper and we're making noise because we're less than five, right? Stop making noise. So we can see, I didn't tell it to stop making noise. That's a problem, right? So you can see we're reading something with our sensor. It was pretty good. I had it, uh, like if I come here, it's reading 10, which again, your palm is about 10 across to the outside of the thumb and I can back this away and it reads pretty good but if I get too close it takes off and I probably forgot to make that go backwards it just made it go forwards let's see what pressing A does 
So I pressed A because uh, I had in code for A. Um, turn left. So apparently one wheel, my left wheel is not turning. My right wheel is turning full speed. So that's how it turns. It doesn't do a zero uh, go up to it. Uh, so there is a little bit playing with the micro bit. Let's turn off that. What up, kind of see what did I do wrong? And yeah, I, can, I left go forward, and I just say play that ringtone forever. So I never told it to turn off, which I probably would need to do like outside the loop. Again, there's logic things we have to play with. So there is a beginning of playing with the Cubot. Thank you for watching. I'll turn you back to the enjoyment of watching that go in circles.